The key things here are um, venetoclax, uh, BCL2 inhibitor. Uh, the major difference compared with ibrutinib is that it actually kills the cells rather than just stops their growth and where they eventually die. So we're seeing a lot more, uh, a lot uh, deeper responses, uh, achieving uh, minimal residual disease negativity, and allowing people to actually test now stopping therapy. So rather than being on ibrutinib forever, venetoclax or ibrutinib plus venetoclax, venetoclax plus anti-CD20, uh, those studies are coming now where you'll, if you achieve MRD status, you'll stop the drug and we'll be interested in seeing what happens. Early data suggests that at least a significant percentage of people stay in remission for a period of time, so it doesn't come roaring back. So this could change everything if we really could treat for 12, 18, 24 months and then be off treatment for a prolonged period.